in tears. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Peach, please, Mrs. H. Yeah, sorry, man. Cheers. I think your dad'll be all right. He's got past the hairy mammoths. That's better than last time. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. My dad's tougher than he looks. Don't scare me, you brainless brontosaurus. You're just an overweight lizard. Don't call me Handy Holdsworth for nothing, you know. Kapow! Fossilised in one. Dino hits the Jurassic Junkyard. OK, come on. Who wants to taste the action next, eh? Come on, come on. Oh, no. It's on speed. Just because he's got a hundred legs, don't mean to say it's going to walk all over you. Right. OK, said to me, old chum. When I'm through with you, you won't have a leg to stand on. Your dad's definitely developing extra digits. What? Flexible fingers? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, sounds like he's blasted the cosmic sense speed. Way to go, Dad. Yeah, but he's still got to face the mighty mad McCaw. OK, McCaw, do your worst. I'm not frightened. I've got enough power in these fingertips to light the whole street. Ha! See? Ah, so you thought you could swoop down on me, eh? Call yourself a high flyer. You're out of your league. Get back to the featherweights. You're playing against a real champ here. See? See? When I'm through with you, you're going to wish you never got out of the cage. Mangled by a mangy crow. Oh, it's not fair. I wasn't ready. You okay, Dad? Leave him. He probably needs time to come to terms with his defeat. Why? He's had them all his life. What? His feet. The idiot follow him. Cup of tea, dear. Biscuit? Oh, it's only a game. Some people find it hard to distinguish between fantasy and reality, Mrs. H. Mangled by a mangy McCaw. <clears throat> Excuse me, brilliantly outmaneuvered. So, what do you reckon, Dad? I think it's Great. If you don't win this competition, well... Yeah, but loads of schools are entering computer games. It's mega. I can't even get past level 10. <laughs> yeah, them pterodactyls fight dirty. Oh, and thanks for all your help, Mad. Hey, Harry, you invented the game and did the graphics. I just taught you how. Imagine, you might even win a trip to New York. <sighs> Yellow cabs, Grand Central Station. Statue of Liberty, Bloomingdale's department store. Triple deckers with tons of relish. I've always fancied going into a New York deli and saying, pastrami on rye and hold the mustard. You hate rye bread. I wouldn't in America. Anyway, isn't New York dangerous? Hey, not if you're with the bird who knows what he's doing. New York, New York, it's yeah, a wonderful yeah, well, town. The Bronx is the up shape. and the valley And I've got enough down. and I'm just right. people ride in a hole in the... Hey, where'd everybody go? Was it something I said? Is that song mad? Yeah. Well, you could say it's a very moving experience. <sighs> Thanks, Harry. New York, New York, it's a wonderful town. The Bronx is up and the battery's down. And people ride in a hole in the ground. New York, New York, it's a I hope Harry doesn't town. get too confident about winning this competition. Mm -hmm. Joe's right, though, love. It's a sensational game. We should be very proud of Harry. Oh, yes, I know, and I am. Harry deserves first prize. But think how awful it would be if he got all his hopes up, only to have them dashed at the last moment. He'd be so disappointed. Mm. I see what you mean. Perhaps it'd be a good idea if we didn't mention the competition again for a while. Agreed. Mm. Mind you, if Harry does win... John! No, I only said if. But if Harry does win, Madison's going to be in for a bit of a shock. How do you mean? Well, I think he fancies going with Harry on this prize trip to New York. You know, to show him the sights. But what's wrong with that? Quarantine. If Madison so much as flutters a feather in foreign parts, he'll have to go into quarantine for months when he gets back. Of course, I'd forgotten about that. 
quarantine's not exactly a holiday camp. Poor Madison. He'd have no one to talk to. No one to go go-karting with. No one to beat at Scrabble. On second thoughts. You're just a bad loser. Well, how come Madison always wins at Scrabble? Because he knows words like zygodactyl. Yeah, well, I know words like zygodactyl. Yeah, but you don't know how to spell them. <laughs> Are you sure you've got enough salad cream on that? Good point. Of course, I could always go with Harry to New York. Oh, I know business has picked up, love, but I don't think you can take time off just yet. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Did you get your VAT done? Yeah, all on computer disk for the Vatman's visit tomorrow. <laughs> Madison helped, of course. Is there anything that bird can't do? He's not very good at needlework. <laughs> I'm telling you, Harry's game is awesome. It's bound to be selected to represent the score for the competition. What about those hard disks, access and delete? They're supposed to be computer champions. No, suppose about it, delete. We are the champions, access. Now take it from me, access and delete are off the screen. No contest. Harry's bound to win. Great, he did. Yeah. Sounds serious, Delete. Could be. Our game won't be ready in time. And if Holdsworth is Omega... We do have our reputations to maintain. There's only one thing for it. What? Feed me data. We'll have to get a copy of Holdsworth's game and enter it as our own. Everyone's bound to believe we invented it. Because we're the school computer experts. And if he enters another copy... Everyone will think he's the cheat. Access? Delete! Holdsworth's computer's in his parents' bedroom. He showed it to me once. Now all we've got to do is figure out how to get those discs. Got any bright ideas? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I know, I can see the smoke. Harry! You sure you got enough, Mrs H? Oh yeah, thanks, Madison. Okay. I'm off to the shops. Do you want to walk round with me now on the way to Joe's? Yeah, okay. Here's looking at you, kid. Oh, Humphrey Bogart, my hero. <laughs> Great book I'm reading. The rule of the private detective in modern culture. You should try it. Uh, who is Humphrey Bogart? Who's, who, who's Humphrey Bogart? Oh, Harry, there were films made before Terminator 2, you know. Yeah, Terminator 1. I'll be back. Later, dude. <laughs> what a guy. Levitate access. Now what? Hope we get lucky. <gasps> Would you believe it? Are you sure this house is empty? Have you got a failure in your memory banks? We saw them leave, right? So why is the door open? Some people never learn. Come on. That bit was a piece of cake. New York, New York. What was that? I must have left the radio. He certainly needs retuning. Follow me. Hello, hello. Someone's in. Nah, it just holds for a stupid bird. Enemy ship to port bow. Whoop, whoop. Dive, dive. Listen to it. Down periscope. Torpedoes ready to fire, Captain. Talks a load of rubbish. Still, what do you expect when all it's got to mimic is Harry Holdsworth? <laughs> Steady, men. This is no time to lose your nerve. <laughs> Told you. This bird should have stayed an egg. Now let's find that computer game. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? <coughs> oh, that's terrible. Here, have you ever heard the one about the hedgehog and the nail brush? What do you think you're doing? I'm telling the bird a joke. It's just cracked a truly awful one. That's not the only thing that's cracked. We're not here to swap gags with an inflated budgie. Now come on. Nuts. What do you call me? Why, you little sh- Ow! That feather duster just bit me! Come on! <laughs> feather duster, huh? Get me the Batmobile, Robin. It's kind of freaky being in someone else's bedroom. This isn't a good idea. Do you want to go to the Big Apple? Yeah. Do you want us to stay computer champions of the school? Of course. Then you look through that box of discs and I'll look through this one. Sorry, Mrs. H. Desperate times, desperate measures. 
Delicious dessert recipes, business accounts, birds of South America, Madison's family tree. Ah, have a nice trip, boys. This must be it. Mad McCaw, Harry's own computer game. Okay, okay. Maybe we should wipe the master. It'll take too long to find it. Let's just get out of here. Grab those other discs as well. They might come in useful. Flower power. Bullseye! What is this? The ceiling's <laughs> caving in. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Where did that come from? Head for the kitchen! Hundreds of thousands! Wow! Whoa! Bad mistake crossing Maddie, boys. I'm your worst nightmare. Come on, let's wipe this place from the memory banks. <laughs> Do you reckon anybody saw us? No chance. Nobody gets away from Madison that easily. Steal out of my family's house, you got another thing coming, boys. You can run, but you can't hide. Madison's on the case, switching to turbo. Accelerate, delete. There you are. Time to sew the pace. Yeah. Oh, we make a mean team, you and me. Until you started talking to your feathered friend. Freaky happenings in that house. Yeah, well, we're out now. And no one will ever know we took those discs. Right, let's check out those discs and get inside. Yep, yep. OK, the villains are holed up in the flat. It's two against one. The stakes are high. What does Mighty Mad Macaw do now? Call for reinforcements! Harry! I'm not saying that sponge cake was heavy. But the three ducks that ate it sank without trace. <sighs> Excuse me, ma'am. i got to use the phone. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Is there anything I can... Hello? Hello? Oh, no, not you, Marjorie. Some man said it was an emergency, then left. Oh, come on, lady. I'm begging you. Look, this is some kind of a joke. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to thin air, Marjorie. That's who I'm talking to. Well, of course, I've taken my pill. <laughs> this is a police. We have the box surrounded. Look, mister, whoever you are. I've lived through war, recession, and the rise and fall of Nottingham Forest. You don't scare me. Totally wasted. <laughs> Marginalised by a hairy mammoth. I'll tell you what, Delete, this Mad Macaw is a majorly serious game. Yeah. Harry Holdsworth can't be such a complete anorak after all. Oh, come on, lady, I just gotta use the phone. Let me take a look at you, then I'll consider it. No can do. <clears throat> What if I were to tell you there's a sale on at the co-op? Everything half price, just for today. Oh, why didn't you say so before? Sorry, Marjorie, got to fly. Thanks for the tip, whoever you are. Whoa, good thinking, Batman. <laughs> what? 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 more watts than a light bulb. Shh, this is serious. You know those low lives access and delete? Yeah. Yeah, well, they've nicked my disc with my computer game on it. How? 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 What do you mean that's more hounds than a Red Indian? Don't start, Madison. Yeah, where are they? 
13 Nightingale House. Hey, that's where Access lives. Yeah, we'll be right there. Bring what? Yeah, okay. Who wants us to bring shades? Shades? As in dark glasses? Yeah, well, I think that's what he said. Anyway, he is American. They call crisps chips. sounded like you had. The floor's covered with hundreds and thousands, not to mention little silver balls. How did it get like... Oh, no. I found your lovely jumper unravelled at the bottom of the stairs. Do you think we've had vandals in the house? Madison or no... Madison! Madison. Oh, don't say it's been stolen again. Oh, don't panic. If all they wanted was Madison, why waste time ruining your knitting? The telly and video are still here. No, I think you're right. Looks like the work of vandals. You don't think Harry came back oh, and... Look, Harry might be clumsy, but he's not willful. If only we knew where Mad was. Last time I saw him, he had his beak in some book. The role of the private detective in modern culture. I wonder what a private detective would do in these circumstances. Round up all the usual suspects. Let's ring Joe's. That's where Harry should be. <laughs> You're no match for McCall. I'll be back. Sensational software access. Delicious data delete. Submit this in our names and... New York City, here we come. Right, bye. Harry was just about to leave Joe's. Apparently a couple of kids broke in and stole Harry's computer game. What about Madison? Well, it seems he tried to stop them leaving. That's why there's all this mess. He's got the place staked out now and Harry and Joe are on the way there. Wouldn't it be better to call the police? Oh, don't worry, I intend to. But Harry seems to think that Madison's got everything under control. Oh no, they're coming out! Don't panic, don't panic! A quick trip to the sweet shop, then it's back to the gate. And this time the McCaw gets terminated. Don't you believe it! Leave the bikes here. So where's Matt? I'm here! You have been to spoke to me. I ignore it. It's just a load of old rubbish. It's me, Madison! What are you doing in there? I'm working undercover. Pwah, this thing stinks. Get me out of here. Pwah, what have I got stuck on my foot? Ah. Oh, thanks, Harry. What's the plan? Well, Access and Delete have gone to the candy store, but they'll be back soon. Now, when they're about to go through the door, we jump them. Did you get the gear? Yeah. Why do we have to wear these? Because all good private investigators wear shades. Helps them look inconspicuous. Yeah, well the parrots I know wear dark glasses. Yeah, trust me. I'm, I'm a parrot. parrot. Well, the thieves obviously used the back door. I know, it's my fault. I should have locked it. Only when Madison's in, I sort of forget he's just a bird. Yeah, no match for burglars. Perhaps we'd better check the rest of the house. Make sure nothing else is missing. I thought Madison told Harry it was the computer game they were after. I think so. Apparently he said, tell Mr. H not to worry. I don't believe it. If they had to take all the discs as well, why take the one with my business accounts? I had all those VAT figures ready for the Vatman's visit tomorrow. I'm sure if you explain... Look, not having your accounts available for inspection is a very serious offence. It's not your fault. Even so. I think the letters V-A-T are going to stand for Very Angry Taxman. I don't want to depress you further, but something else is missing. What? The disc I put my delicious dessert recipes on. Oh, no, love, that's terrible. Not the one with the recipe for double dark chocolate sensation with fudge topping. Yes. Oh, I think this is more than I can bear. I can see him. Those viruses access and delete are on the way. OK. You both know what to do. Now, just act natural. Did you see 
see what I see? Purse. What do you think? <sighs> you distract her. Excuse me, I think you... Run! Why are you... I don't believe this. They've just mugged an old lady. Okay, squadrons, take to the skies. Uh, can somebody take these glasses off? I can't see a thing. And... Uh... <laughs> I'll cut them off. Come on. How? Vicious thing pecked me. Look, are you all right? Perhaps you should sit down. Rubbish. Let me get at those little worms. Yeah, right. Into my place. We'll pick up the disc and the scarf around the back. They can't do the thing if we destroy the evidence. No problem. You all right, Harry? Yeah. Don't let them go. I'll go around the back. Run for it. <coughs> no, you don't. Leave him to me. Hey, oh, Lily! Amazing what you can learn at the over sixties club. Business accounts. Delicious desserts. Harry's own computer game. I bet that was the one they were really after. You know, I don't believe you two. I mean, okay, so Harry's game's brilliant, but you're both old whiz kids on the computer. I mean, why didn't you just make up your own one? We did. And we didn't reckon we'd have it ready in time. Yeah. Well, there's always next year's competition. We wanted to go this year. And besides, we've got our reputations to think about. We're the computer kings, not you. Just shut up. Yeah, well, you've really blown it now. When everyone hears how you try to cheat, your reputations will be trash. Come on, cut it out. Hey, give me a break, Harry. I do a better siren than that. Seems we missed the fun. I'm looking for two gentlemen by the name of Delete and Access. That's them. So you must be Harry. Yeah. If everyone would like to go outside and give a statement to the officer out there, we'll deal with these two. Um... How did you know we were here? Your parents rang us. Perhaps you could give him a ring? Tell him you're OK? Sure. Uh, good bit of detective work, tracking down these two villains. Thanks. Only next time, make sure you lock all the doors before you go out. You got that? You're not kidding. Hasta la vista, baby.